The risk factors for cardiovascular disease are as follows. If someone has too much fat in their diet, they may find they have high blood cholesterol and more fat deposited in their blood vessels. If someone consumes too much salt, this can lead to them having a higher blood pressure. Other risk factors include smoking, genetics, where their family has a history of cardiovascular disease, and if they do not exercise often. An atheroma is a buildup of fatty deposits in an artery. This is a particular issue if it occurs in the coronary arteries. As the fatty deposits build up, they narrow the lumen of the coronary arteries. This restricts blood flow, which means cells beyond the narrowing won't be receiving enough oxygen. This can cause heart pain, which doctors would call angina, and would be a warning sign of cardiovascular disease. Arthromas can also rupture, especially if the person has a higher blood pressure. This causes the body to try and clot the ruptured part. The platelets that clot the blood make a blockage in the coronary vessel. Now the heart muscle tissues beyond that blockage are receiving no oxygen and the cells start to die. This is what we would call a heart attack. If a clot were to block a vessel supplying the brain, then this would cause a stroke. Treatments for cardiovascular disease have their pros and cons. Statins have been shown to lower blood cholesterol and is an effective treatment to help fight cardiovascular disease by reducing the risk of developing an atheroma. Statins are tablets, so they are just a daily medication that is certainly less risky than surgery. Statins do, however, have possible side effects, and a few examples would be headaches, diarrhea, and problems with the liver. Angioplasty is a type of surgery that places a balloon inside the coronary artery that has a blockage and is inflated to widen the artery's lumen. This removes the blockage as the fat is pressed outwards and blood flow improves. This method can be temporary however, but doctors can also put in a stent, which is a wire mesh that helps to keep the blood vessel open for longer. Like with any surgery however, there is a risk of further complications, like the artery can become even more damaged where the stent was inserted. The final treatment you need to be aware of is recommending the patient to make changes to diet and more exercise. Healthy lifestyle choices include stopping smoking, exercising often, eating healthier food and less salt. All these can help reduce the cholesterol in your blood and lower your blood pressure thus reducing the risk of suffering from further symptoms of cardiovascular disease. WJEC suggests that the problem with this treatment is that an individual needs a high level of discipline, as these changes must be long-term if they are to have a positive effect. 